Adam, you've been working internationally for quite some time and now you're working back in the UK. What are the lessons that you're, you've learned from abroad, from international work that you're bringing back to the UK with you? Well, I think the first thing I'd say is that there's not a lot of difference between working internationally and working in the UK. Artists and arts organisations face the same issues, certainly around where to find the artists, where to find their audiences, and how to fund their work and fund the distribution and touring of their work. So um, I don't think I've got a, 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 a sort of a, a marvellous uh, overview, as it were, to impart with anybody, but I will say that uh, I think it's good to work in as many different uh, cultural settings as you possibly can because you see different ways of working. Every uh, country in the world has a different uh, culture of working. Every um, organisation in every country in the world has a different way of working. But essentially the artists are, are following the same uh, lines of uh, inspiration and uh, create work to be seen. I think this is another important thing. They're looking for their audiences and looking for ways of making contact with people. So a lot of the things I'm doing is actually facilitating um, artists from different countries, uh, making, uh, making it possible for them to go to another country and to basically test themselves, I suppose would be the right way to put it. I mean, I, I believe very much that there shouldn't be this big division between working domestically and working internationally. I think that in the in terms of development of an artist, that working internationally is just as important as working in your own studio. And in fact, I think it's very important for artists to get out of their studio, out of their cultural context, because it, it, it does add to their practice, it enriches the way in which they think and they, they, they see different things and new ideas. Just finished a project, um, what a, halfway through it, we'll be taking a pause, going to Georgia and Azerbaijan and taking artists from all over Europe on a, on a road trip uh, right the way across uh, the Caucasus. And the purpose of that is to just present them with different settings and different circumstances and to, to take them out of their studio so that they are looking at a landscape and receiving impressions and having an opportunity to talk to different people from different cultures. Eventually, that kind of exposure does have an impact on the way an artist thinks because I think that the most interesting art, the art that lasts, you know, we can name Picasso or something like this, is art which is interested in its social setting and in its culture and in the things around it. Uh, the best art is not a self-portrait, it's a landscape, or at least it's a, a, a portrait in a landscape.